Plant cells, part three. Let me slide this down. You have, you have seen what animal cells look like, but if you were to look through a microscope at a plant and animal cells, how would you know which one is which? Plant cells have most of the same organelles that animal cells have. Hmm. However, however, plant cells have three structures that animal cells do not have. Plant structures have chloroplast, they have a cell wall, and they have a central vacuole. Those three things. Now they have some of the other things. They have the nucleus, um, and, but but they but but they also have these three things. A plant produces food in its chloroplast. These duckweed cells, and that's what this is called right here, duckweed cells, contain many chloroplasts, so they are able to make a lot of food. Chloroplasts make food. I mean, that's what they do. Animals need to eat food. But get this, and you probably knew this, plants do not. Plants can make their own food because many of their cells contain an organelle that allows them to do so. A chloroplast is an organelle that uses the sun's energy to make sugar through the process of, yes, you've heard it before, photosynthesis. A green pigment in the chloroplast called chlorophyll absorbs energy from sunlight. This energy is used in a chemical reaction to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugar. The sugar is the cell's food. It is stored as sugar until it is needed for energy and is broken down. Not all plant cells have chloroplast. For example, cells in roots have no chloroplast. Since there is no sunlight underground, these root cells cannot perform photosynthesis. However, cells in a plant's leaves have many chloroplasts for performing photosynthesis. The central vacuole stores liquids. Plant cells have one large central vacuole, which is much bigger than the vacuoles found in animal cells. As you can see in figure 3a, the central vacuole is often the largest organelle in a plant cell. The central vacuole stores and gets rid of waste. It is so large because it also stores water and other liquid materials that will be needed by the cell, and it helps to maintain the cell's shape by filling with fluid. Plant cells have some structures that are not found in animal cells. A central vacuole and chloroplast are two examples of these structures. The central vacuole stores water and helps the cell maintain its shape. Chloroplasts help plant cells make their own food. Cell walls support a plant. Move this down a little bit. There's the, let me make this a little bit smaller. There's the central vacuole, and there's the chloroplast. There's the, the, the same structures we found before in an animal cell. Okay. A plant cell is surrounded by a cell wall. Let's move it down here too, I'm sorry. There you go. A plant cell is surrounded by a cell wall, a protective outer covering that lies just outside the cell membrane. A cell wall helps the cell keeps a rigid shape. Suppose you filled a balloon with water. The water balloon is squishy and can easily burst. But if you place the water balloon inside a cardboard box, it would be much less likely to break because the box would protect it. A box would also make the combined parts more rigid and give it a definite shape. The cell wall accomplishes the same functions for a plant cell. Interesting. Figure 3B. I think that's where we are. The cell wall in this diagram is colored green. Now, it's not necessarily green, but we're going to color it green. It surrounds the plant cell, provides shape, and makes the cell rigid. It's the chloroplast that makes a plant green. It is sometimes difficult to see both the cell wall and the cell membrane with a microscope because they are so close together. In this photo, the cytoplasm and cell membrane has shrunk inward due to lack of of water in the central vacuole, while the cell wall has stayed more rigid. Interesting. 
the cell wall, get you down here. Uh, the cell wall is not an organelle because it is not surrounded by a, a membrane, but it's a very important cell structure. It regulates the amount of water in the cell, allowing water to pass through, but preventing the cell from bursting. Hmm. The cell wall works with the central vacuole to keep a plant upright. When the cells have what water, and that makes sense. I mean, you've seen a plant wilt before. When the cells have what water, the fluid filled vacuole pushes the cytoplasm and cell membranes against the cell wall. This pressure helps to make the cell rigid so that it can keep its shape and support parts of the plant. In the same way, the, the filled water balloon presses on the side of the box and helps bring, prevent the box from collapsing and inward. That was kind of the, the model we were using before. If you forget to water a plant for a short time, it begins to droop. When the central vacuole is not filled, the cytoplasm and cell membrane shrink away from the cell wall as seen in this photo, and the plant wilts. The cell wall still maintains the shape of the cell so that the plant is able to pop right back up again when it's watered, as long as the cells have not died. There we go. Part three is over.